Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's me, your girl, Britt Reacts, and today we are reacting to Jackson Brown, The Load Out, and Stay Live. Let's see what he has to say. I love a glass of wine while we perform. I love that. Maybe I should start doing that. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh. They love it. The people love it. Gorgeous. Very pretty. Now the seats are all empty. Let the roadies take the stage. Pack it up and tear it down. They're the first to come and the last to leave. only one who like I when I read the title of a song I don't know if I think too much about it but I think I definitely I don't know I have some type of expectation I did not expect the loadout to be about roadies loading in and loading out but I love the the like literalness of it all <laughs> I do They're the first to come and the last to leave Work out for that minimum wage They'll set it up in another town Tonight the people were so fine They waited there in line When they got up on their feet They made the show That was sweet, but I can hear the sound of slamming doors and folding chairs, and that's a sound they'll never know. Hmm, that's a sound they'll never know. He's taking like pauses and beats in places that like I don't know if I would put them there, but I, I mean I like it. It's just like I'm like oh hmm okay. Um, I have toured before. I've been on a couple of actual uh national tours and it definitely gives you an appreciation for the crew i mean being on any type of set or anything where there is a crew there is so much respect for those men and women because everyone that is in the forefront to say knows what it takes for them to even be able to be there um I think it's a huge reason why you have all the like strikes and stuff because these people are what make the entertainment world go round literally. Literally without them concerts wouldn't be able to happen. Like you wouldn't be able to see your favorite artists and they work tirelessly. They they have to be there before and after everyone else and um they they're so un underappreciated and I just think a lot of people just don't think about it people just don't think about how things are put on um so I I do I really love it there's literally a song out there dedicated to these people and the work that they do um for us to be able to go and be entertained you know and a lovely song like it's very lovely you know it's like a it's literally feels like here are your flowers kind of thing that's a sound they'll never know. The crowd will never know that sound. It's chairs slamming, closed doors closing. Roll them cases out and lift them amps. Haul them trusses down and get them up the ramps. Cause when it comes to moving me, you know you guys are the champs. You are the champs. When that last guitar's been packed away. 
you know I still want to play So just make sure you got it all set to go Before you come for this piano Make sure, make sure you have it all set to go before you come for this piano. Like the piano needs to be the last thing out the door. All right, sir. I, he really has a really, um, I don't know, it just feels like an all-American voice, if that makes any sense. Like it just feels like I can imagine like a kid who's never heard a song from America before. Like this is what it sounds like kind of thing. I don't know. He just really has like a wholesome voice boy next door kind of vocal and I like it um I love his hair you know I always have to say it's like bone silky straight like his hair is like picture perfect um and then I, I my bad I, I just love that he took the time to write a song for the crew assuming he wrote it I don't know if he wrote it it's an assumption I've never seen one of those in the shape of an actual guitar. I've always seen them and they feel like a like boxy thing. His is in the shape of like a small violin or guitar. But the band's on the bus And they're ready to go Go Gotta drive all night And do a show in Chicago Detroit, I don't know. Ooh. We do so many shows in a row. Chicago or Detroit, I don't know. We do so many shows in a row. I love the kind of like uh, air he put underneath his voice in that. That was nice. Um, something about this feels like. There's some, I don't know, there's some sadness there. Like, I don't, I don't know what's going to happen at the end of the song, but something about this, I don't know, does it feel sad to y'all? Does it make you feel a little like, hmm, is it, I don't know, it could just be me. There's some emotion there that I'm not sure how or why or where to place it, but it, it's making me feel kind of sad in a way. Maybe it's just because these people are underappreciated. Um, maybe, I don't know. All right. Let's keep going. And these towns all look the same. These towns all look the same. We just pass the time in our hotel rooms and wander around backstage till those lights come up and we hear that crowd and we remember why we Ooh. I love that it, re it like grew and grew into this. I wasn't, I wasn't seeing this coming. I like this. 1978, y'all know how I feel about the 70s groove. Woo! This feels like a theme song to like my favorite sitcom or something. <laughs> That's nice. Now we got country and western Country Western, we R&B, we got disco. Hey. Eight tracks and cassettes and stereos. I love that he said we got disco and the music changed into like a disco rhythm. Love, loving every minute of this. Loving every minute of this. And we got rural scenes and magazines. We got truckers on the CB. We got Richard Pryor on the video. Richard Pryor! And we got time to think of the ones we love while the miles roll away. While the miles the roll away. The only time that seems too short is the time that we get to play. You know you've got the power. People, you got the power over what we do. It turned into a bop. I wasn't expecting that. It was very sullen and sullen. That's the right word. I don't know. It was making me feel sad and then it lifted me right on up. Um, 
That is true. Like being on the road will really make you like appreciate home and all your people at home like so much. It's such a fun time. Like my my memories from being on tour are priceless and I think it had a lot to do with like who I am and even how I speak to you guys here like it's such a big part of me but like being able to go home and like on a routine and in your bed there it's it's a priceless priceless part of life you know I can't believe there's like a song out here dedicated to this like I feel like this is such a experience for a very small group of people that like if you hear it then you really you know, you, it, you either feel it or you don't, you know, like I, I, I can't believe there's a song out there about this. This is everyone needs to know about this. When you wake up, you're going to be home. Me, I'll be gone. See? Just a little bit longer. Oh, he's, this is the next song. This is Stay Live. Stay Live. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> If your mother don't mind, if the union don't mind, take a little time. Take a little time. Oh, there's so much happening. I thought she was just gonna be a background vocalist. No, ma'am, she got a solo. Uh, if your mama don't mind, if the union don't mind, if we we get one more song. Okay, this must be stay. I know this song. I know this song. Why do I know this song? I know this song. It's from a movie. Like. Is it the Temptations movie that I know that song said? And your mama don't mind. Yeah, it is from the Temptations movie that used to come on VH1 all the time. They were singing it before they became famous. And yeah, or Paul, Paul and Eddie were singing it. And that's how they got into the group. I've seen that movie a million times, if you can't tell, right? Just a little bit. If you know what I'm talking about, please val validate me in the comments. Just do it. Oh, she's gone already? I loved her voice. I wanted more. This keyboardist is off the chain. He's off the chain. He's so good. What? No, Where did he come from? There's so much happening. There's so much going on. I love it. One more song. One more song. If your mama don't mind, I promise you, I know that's where this comes from. Like, it is clear as day to me. If I'm wrong, then <laughs> maybe it's not so clear. But I'm like 98.999% sure that that's where I know that from. And by no, I mean I could just pick up the like lyrics and the rhythm very quickly. Like, I clearly don't know the whole song. There is so much theatrics happening. And again, in the beginning, it was like a very like hum doo -doo -doo dum type of thing and it picked up and then you have like all these different characters popping up and it feels like a broadway show 
I love it. It sounded like one big song to me. I, I know where the transition happened, but it did sound like one seamless song. Maybe just a two-part song, you know? You know how, like, back in the day, you had song A on the front of the, like, record and song B on the back? I don't know. Uh, yeah. I, I, I love, I really love that there's a song out there for all the, the crew members, the unseen, unsung heroes of it all. And then it went into this, like kind of upbeat and your mama don't mind. Um, that was really good. Jackson Brown, you are a gem, sir, a gem. And all your friends on stage were also really fun. I really enjoyed that, guys. I hope you did too. Uh, do me a favor, make sure you're subscribed here. Leave me a comment. Tell me if I was right about the movie that I'm pretty sure I learned that song from. Uh, like this video, share it with a friend. And go and have the day that you deserve. Peace.